and you, I'm willing to bet that is not Sherman's first time on the gallery. No, so she looked here, and she was like, sure. kids just perform for the camera yeah. and they sailed away. Get Off away they from. went. Yeah. Well, if you are still a little wobbly on the ice, there's nothing wrong with some good old fashioned walking. Yeah, many walkers try to hit that uh, 10,000 step mark, but the health benefits can actually kick in a bit sooner than that. Brandy Smith explains why. Why could the health benefits of walking kick in a lot sooner than 10,000 steps? For years, we've heard everyone should aim for 10,000 steps a day to hit our fitness goals, but there's very little science to back that up. The number actually came from a Japanese company that sold pedometers. Now, new research suggests you can see significant health benefits with as few as 4,000 steps a day. Researchers looked at more than a dozen studies and found that health benefits started around 2,300 steps a day. At that point, subjects showed a reduced risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. When people hit 4,000 steps a day, the risk of dying of any cause started to fall significantly. But that doesn't mean you should just stop there. Every extra thousand steps walked was associated with a 15% drop in the risk of dying of any cause. So how can you squeeze extra steps into your day? We've heard all the tips before, take the stairs, not the elevator, that kind of thing. But it might be better to take a closer look at your personality. If you're competitive, challenge a friend to see who can get more steps in in a day. Or maybe if you're a social creature, don't text your coworker, walk over to their desk. Just find out what works best for you and keep moving. With The Why, I'm Brandi Smith.